So there may be a correlation between her taking algae and, you know, like aging well, being able to still be active or energy levels still being up. What research does is it narrows down that the algae is the specific cause of that. We have to establish that this is a specific cause for it to be scientifically validated. Correlation versus causation. You learn it in like bio one-on-one in undergrad. It's the gift that keeps on giving, bro. The, my favorite example is that when ice cream sales increase, shark attacks increase, right? There's a correlation between ice cream sales and shark attacks. So it's like, does that mean that ice cream sales increases the rate of shark attacks? Are they causatively linked? No, no. It just so happens that ice cream and shark attacks are both more common in the summer. And so they are correlated with one another, but they are not causative necessarily. But when you see a headline that says, when ice cream sales increase, shark attacks increase, people start to think, oh, well, <laughs> well, maybe sharks have a sweet tooth. So when you eat more ice cream, now it means that sharks are going to attack you more often. And there's just all sorts of yeah. things that could that could stem from 